money that goes to our salaries to pay us, majority of us here and others, working for the, for the 49 million Kenyans, is approximately 900 billion. The recurrent non-salary, the recurrent to maintain us while still earning salary, is around 600 billion. Therefore, I have given that reality so that we see clearly we must work on our physicals in terms of reducing our deficit and work on our revenues so that we have a more balanced budget. For the 2023-2024 medium term uh, discussions, emphasis will be on aggressive revenue mobilization. That includes policy measures to bring on board additional revenue. We don't want you to start new projects before you complete existing ones. And even where there is opportunity to restart the idle ones, let's focus on those. Because that amounts to waste of resources. If you have idle, uh, because you have idle equipment, and also you are, if it's a loan, we are servicing loans for projects which are uh, stalled. So we are going to focus on this. We see that um, a lot of ministries are making a request for money. For, for they, need, they have a lot of requirements. But we don't have, we are not able to support them because of the revenues that uh, we are getting, which are not enough. In other words, expenditure requests continue to be greater than the available resource envelope. That is a, a, a challenge. And not compare a cow, for example, with an orange. The situation of our country, Kenya, is so different from those other countries that we have to look at ourselves singularly in so far as debt is concerned. How much is the cost of, for example, the, Jap uh, the, the Japanese government borrowing. To some point, it goes to negative rates. The 10-year board of Japan, compared to the Kenyan, you'll find that there is nothing actually comparable. And therefore, we cannot continue uh, to perpetuate borrowing by referencing countries that borrow and they are doing well.